it's the liver in there. And this is yeast, dry yeast they can make bread with. And they both have enzymes or proteins. Your body's full of them too. Anytime you eat something, they break down what you eat. They're little molecules that break other molecules apart. So if I pour this hydrogen peroxide on there, enzymes in the yeast are going to break this into oxygen. The enzymes in the liver are going to break it into hydrogen. And they're two of my favorite atoms because both of them are really, really, really flammable. So this is the good part here. If I get it hot, I don't even have to light it. If I just take the hot wax from this candle and drip it on those bubbles, they will blow up. So this is a good part here. If I get it hot, I don't even have to light it. If I just take the hot wax from this candle and drip it on those bubbles, they will blow up. It's still going. Oh yeah, it'll keep going too. <coughs> Daddy, come here. <laughs> you gotta go out and help out. Whoa. That's cool. Isn't it? Don't try it on your own. Well, I don't have any more air to suck in there. I'll make a vacuum. Your vacuum cleaner. Give it a second. Give it a second. Winner. Whoa! Yeah, it sucked all the air out. If I pop it off, it should make a little pop. Kind of like what happens whenever you take a bottle cap off the Same thing. I put that hole at the bottom to let air come in. All right, so I'm just gonna mix it up, let the air get in there, pour into it, pour a little liquid out. All right, just take a couple steps back for me. Ooh, wow, is that cool, huh? Did you see that? So it takes a second to go, because while well, it's burning, it's sucking the air out, and then when it gets the perfect amount of air in there,